Hey everybody, welcome back to Motion Brain. Today I want to show you how to create elastic springs in Cinema 4D. And let's check this video out here. Um, yeah, I use simulation objects and dynamic tags to create this. And after this tutorial, you're able or you know how to do this. And yeah, let's open Cinema 4D. I created a startup scene. If you want to download this, just click um, or just check the description. There's the link. And yeah, let's start. First, we need to give the, the cube and the sphere and simulation object. So select both of this, go under simulation tag and press reject body or choose reject body. And if you press play now, we can see that both objects are falling uh, are falling through the through, uh, through the ground. Let's rename it to ground. And what we need to do now is to give the ground and collider body. And if you press play again, we can see that the cube and the sphere are colliding with the ground. Yeah. And now we need to create the spring. So go on the simulate dynamic and choose spring. In the spring object, we need to attach two objects, object A and object B. So drag the sphere down to object A and the cube down to object B. If you press now control R, we don't see the spring. So we have to create it later on. But we can, if we deselect the spring, we can and we will not see the, the spring itself. So we need to select the spring or the, we need to display it. So go under spring, display and always visible and maybe change the draw size to one. Now we, if we press play, we can see that um, something happens, but um, that's not the right. Or that's not what we want. What we need to do is now go under spring, go under object and change the rest length to let's say 3, the stiffness to 10, damping is okay and the elastic stretch limit we're going to press or we're going to select this on. And now if we go and check this out we can see something like this. Um, yeah, you can you can play around with the uh, position of your cube. This is not good. Let's change the sphere like this. This is okay. This is great. And now we need to create the elastic spring. So let's select the or let's create a helix. Create a sweep object and a circle spline. And like always, drag the helix down to the sweep object and the circle between the sweep and the helix one and change the size to 0 0.1 or let's, let's take it's 0 0.05. This is okay. Um, change the position, the rotation and the height, let's say to the six, not too high, let's take five, five, five is okay. State the start radius to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. The end angle, I'm going to change it to 2000. Now we have something like this and I would say we need to decrease the radius of our circle spline to 0 0.025. This is okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is great. And uh, maybe the angle to 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Yeah, this is better. If we go, if we press play now, um, nothing happens. And now it's getting complicated. 
we need to go to select the helix, right click, go to Cinema 4D Text and choose Expresso. And now drag the helix down. Let's change the size of the box here and the fair. What I want to do is to change the size of our helix by the position of our fair here. So let's go and take fair and let's go under coordinates and position. And here under um, object properties and height. Go to the circle here. With the left mouse button we can press it and hold it until we get the orange line and put it here until it's green. Yeah, that's all. And now we can see that something happens here. And if we go and press play again, we can see a nice spring, a nice elastic spring here. And let's select the, or let's turn it off the display here on the spring display, always visible off. Let's have a look and we can see Yeah, great. And now we can um, turn off this cube here by, by turn the second circle red. If we press now Control R, we don't see the circle, uh, sorry, we don't see the plate here. And now the the sphere is falling down. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any question. Just just ask, and um, you can download this project out of the description. The first one and the finished one here. Have fun and see you next time.